In this video, I'm going to tell you what the dollar reset means. And it doesn't matter where you live, this is a global crisis. That silver and gold stackers everywhere need to listen up and heed. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. Yes, the dollar is going to reset. What does that even mean, you might be asking? Reset. Well, in this rather serious video, I'm going to share my thoughts on that topic. We'll talk a little bit about the prevailing attitudes, even in our own stacking community. And you're also going to hear from Tim Marshner, the owner of the Coin and Stamp Shop in Manchester, New Hampshire, my LCS dealer. The dollar is the reserve currency of the world. That is a prestigious position that gives us in the United States the monetary might around the world to dictate how nations spend their wealth. But I believe that that status is on the ropes. And in my opinion, I think it's coming to an end. Now I hear uh, about three different main types of attitudes or, 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 or perspectives on a dollar reset from silver stackers in our community and uh, other type of people. I get emails and comments. And the first type of, uh, you know, comment I get or attitude is it ain't going to happen, Yankee, period. Or it's not going to happen in our lifetimes, Yankee. You know, that, that last, uh, you know, variant of, of the, the sentiment came up tonight, actually, while I was talking on the phone with a really good friend of mine in the stacking community. I won't mention his name, uh, but he disagreed. Well, that's fine but we have done incredible damage to our underlying economy with the fiscal and monetary shenanigans. And, and I think it's going to happen very quickly. I think it's accelerating fast, and I think it's going to happen within this decade, possibly. And, and I don't think that's hyperbole either. Not at all. In fact, I have some very large and significant financial decisions uh, that I need to make for uh, the Yankee household. Uh, I need to make it by November, actually. And, and, and those decisions are going to affect our family's economic future uh, for the rest of my life. And you better believe a dollar reset is factoring into my decision-making process. What we in my household have built, we do not want to lose. And when a dollar reset occurs the world will be inundated with losers. So that's the first you know, perspective or attitude, ain't gonna happen. The second is on the other end of the spectrum. It's, it's the bring it Yankee, let's get it on. Let's reset this dollar, I'm sick and tired of blah, 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 right? Just you know, real intense attitude around it occurring. You know, confidence is one thing, but a cavalier attitude towards a reset? That is not warranted, people. A dollar reset means an annihilation of our way of life. It will be a global cataclysmic event that will financially affect everyone negatively. And I mean everyone. There's not going to be some, you know, magic escape for you just because you stack. Okay, no man is an island. You know, the actions of uh, uh, world central banksters, federal, state, and local governments, our neighbors, our friends, our family, it all impacts us. So, simply put, the bravado needs to stop. That's the second you know, perspective or attitude that I see. The third one is, <laughs> Yankee, what do we do? <laughs> well, I'm going to give you a, a really short uh, list 
of what you can do at the end of this video. But first, if you fall into one of those first two camps I mentioned, listen up. Uh, let, let's suppose um, they have a dollar reset, which is the most dangerous thing. Because uh, mm. the dollar reset is, you know, it's been done by, uh, very famously by countries like Brazil. And their cumulative um, inflation rate is now 2.75 sextillion times what it was in 1942 when they had their first reset. A dollar reset will cause, um, I think, massive panic. I don't think they, nobody really wants to do this, but they know it's coming. Mm. And it'll probably start in Europe. And uh, Christine Lagarde has been on television twice in the last couple of weeks. Um, claim, well, I, one morning I was shaving and she was giving her speech. So however long it took me to shave, <laughs> she mentioned digital currency yeah, and absolutely. digital euro right. six times, okay, in the course of her speech. So we know where they stand. This is the, she's the head of the uh, ECB, the European Central Bank. Similar talk going on here. More than just talk. It Even is. Even legislation but that's because proposed. We're way out of options. Our, our debt, mm -hmm. you know, the, um, short-term and long-term debt dwarfs the entire rest of the world. world. And, you know, the Pelosi bill, the one that was passed by the House, mm -hmm. um, would take the debt to $32 trillion. And uh, no Jerome problem. Powell and Mnuchin both visited the Congress and told them this has to stop at $27 trillion because it's unsustainable. Now, what, do you, what does that mean? That means you, no matter... How much you're raising taxes, you can't, can't pay do it. that down. But that's okay. They'll just print it. Well, that's what, that's what the Soviet Union did during the Depression in the 30s. Mm -hmm. And it actually worked because the, their currency was always a phony currency. The euro is a phony currency. If you, if you don't consolidate your debt and pay down your debt, your currency is basically worthless because you just print money. But they weren't the reserve currency of the world. There's a different situation there. That's yeah. exactly right. That's the only difference. And mm -hmm. this is the only country in the world that has never had a reset. The only country in the world has never had a reset. And, you know, the Swiss say, oh, no, no, no. We've never obsoleted any of our metal. But they actually have. Mm. They they did they uh, discontinued what their whatever their twenty cent piece is. Mm -hmm. They discontinued that because it, I don't know, had a small amount of silver in it or something. But they just said it's no longer valid. But um, yeah, this is the only country in the world yep. that's never had a reset of any kind. And, and that's and who's it dangerous to? Well, it doesn't affect billionaires. Doesn't affect you know people who have a hundred million or ten million or or even two million. It affects everybody out there. Everybody who doesn't have a backup. There are mm. 51 million people who are expecting to get some government assistance. Right. When the value of that assistance is cut in half, what are these people going to do? They're going to riot. And that's what's coming. They don't have any of this. Not even close. No, well, they don't, you know, day to day. They may not have a job that pays for their expenses. Sure, sure. They may not be able to pay their rent. Mm -mm. It doesn't matter. But there are 50 million people out there who won't have anything if we have a dollar reset, mm. won't have anything. And, you know, we think that the riots we're seeing in some of these liberal cities is bad. Wait to see what happens when we have a dollar reset. And, you know, they just, I don't think they care. I, it's, it's, it's a, if you ask Nancy Pelosi what her policy is about, you know, whether or not we should have a digital currency mm. or some alternate currency, mm -hmm. Or, you know, maybe some mechanism to fool around with the debt. She's all of the above. Who cares? That's the attitude. Mm. You know, as long as they get theirs, you know, they'll, they'll know what they're getting in their next paycheck, no matter when the dollar reset comes. Thanks for saying that. I have uh, little stacks with you right here, man. Don't, don't, don't despair. <laughs> okay, it sounds pretty bad, but, uh, well, man. He is at uh, least getting a good education. Yes, he is getting and a good are, education. There yes. are millions of kids out there who are not getting any education. Mm -hmm. And, you know, never mind financial education, they're not getting history education. Mm -hmm. because, uh, if you know something about history, you know that this they can't do what they're planning to do because we're the world's reserve currency. Exactly and there's right. never been a reserve currency before the dollar. Okay? Never. Thank you, man. That was words of wisdom from a man who gets it. Okay, he's got the years under his belt. Now, 
for the last camp, uh, you know, those are saying, you know, Yankee, what do I do? Let me just give you these uh, four things really quick. First is start prepping. I get this a lot from people. They say, Yankee, you know, uh, why you talk so much about silver and gold? What, what, what about, uh, you know, food and water and, and, and you, know, you know, beans and bullets, right? You know, listen, prepping is all about being prepared and you need to be prepared. If anything, uh, this uh, year, 2020, has given everyone a shot over the bow to get your act together. Stock up, prepare. I have a whole playlist called Prepping the Yankee Way. Check it out. It's in the playlist uh, section of my channel. Highly recommend you watch that series of videos. Um, now I'll, in fact, I'll include it at the end of this video as well. The second thing is stack harder. I mean, we have seen a significant dip in the spot price of silver and gold. Yeah, it doesn't mean that you're necessarily going to find the metals that you're after at your local coin shop or online. If you know the premiums are still outrageous, it makes it difficult to stack, but I am encouraging you to stack with more diligence and fervor. You know, stay within yourself, stay within your budget, don't panic stack, but do focus hard. This is the time to, I hate to say it, but buy the dip and try to uh, build your stack. And the third thing, reallocate your stock and bond holdings to safer asset classes. Guys, equities are in a hyper bubble. Stop playing in the casino on the Titanic and move closer to the few lifeboats on the deck. All right, and the, four, and the fourth thing, if you need help with any of this, if, if it's a little overwhelming to you, consider a Yankee Cannon membership where I can offer some one-on-one you know, -on -one coaching about your current financial situation, your future goals, uh, ideas around stacking and, and prepping. The link uh, to that uh, program, the, the details are in the description below. Check it out. Just click on it. You'll see what I uh, discuss with uh, my Yankee Cannon members. They get a lot out of it. So that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay. People keep asking me what that bargain basket is. 25% off prices mark. I get comments on that all the time, man. What you the gotta... bargain basket is? <laughs> What's the it's bar... empty. <laughs>